Hi guys, Jed's here. Welcome to another video. In today's lesson, we're going to be doing third brackets. Now, I'm going to go through three examples, each example more difficult than the last. And at the end, I'm going to give you some practice questions with their answers so you can master this topic. Now, in order to understand third brackets, you should already know how to add, multiply, subtract, and divide third. We've already done a lesson on that, so I'm just going to leave a link in the description below for that lesson. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. All right, let's begin. Example one. Here we're being asked to expand and simplify fully these two brackets. How this works is as follows. This first term six in the first bracket, you're going to multiply this onto every term in the next bracket. So the second bracket here. So we're going to do a multiplication of this six by all of the terms in the second bracket. So we're going to have six multiplied by eight, and that's 48. And I'm just going to write that here. And then we're going to do six multiplied by root seven, and now 6 times root 7, you could literally just write it as 6 root 7. And I'm going to write it next to the 48 here. And of course, you have to determine the sign of this 6 root 7. Well, it's positive 6 multiplied by positive root 7. A positive multiplied by positive gives us a positive. And there we go. So we're now done with the 6. I'm going to move on to this positive root 7. Notice how I circle the plus symbol as well. So we're going to do positive root 7 times 8 first, then we're going to times it by the root 7. So positive root 7 times 8 is positive 8 root 7. Okay, so that's how you multiply numbers and thirds. You kind of just put them next to each other like this. Uh, so now we're done with the 8. We're going to do positive root 7 multiplied by positive root 7. So that's going to give us positive root 7 times root 7. Um, from the previous lesson, we've seen that this gives us root 49 which breaks down the square root of 49 is actually just 7. So there's a nice little trick for you. If you're multiplying two roots that have the same number in them, it just simplifies to the number in one of the roots. So in this case here, the answer to this part is just going to be 7. So you could just write root 49 and then break that down in your next line. But I'm just going to go ahead and say, I know that positive root 7 times positive root 7 is positive root 49, which breaks down to positive 7 just there. So now that we've multiplied everything out, we're finished with this uh, plus root 7, we can just go ahead and simplify everything in this line here that we have. So how to simplify this is quite simple. The numbers, combine them with the numbers, and the roots, combine them with the roots. So let's just do the numbers first. So it's going to be 48 plus 7. Notice how the symbol to the left of the number belongs to that number. Okay, so it's going to be 48 plus 7, which is 55. And now we're going to do plus 6 root 7, or positive 6 root 7, plus 8 root 7. Um, and that's pretty straightforward. It's essentially 6 root 7. We don't need the positive symbol if it's this first number that we're writing. And that's going to be plus 8 root 7. And 6 lots of root 7 plus 8 lots of root 7, we learned how to do this in the previous lesson, is going to be positive 14 lots of root 7. And this is our final answer, as we cannot simplify the root 7 any further. And if we check our answer, there it is. Okay, so now let's do our second example. We're going to do it in the exact same way that we did the first example, except it's just a bit trickier because of the numbers and the roots. So let's just go ahead and see how to solve this. So we're going to do 2 multiplied by everything in the second bracket. So remember, it's first term in the first bracket multiplied by all of the terms in the second bracket. And this is going to give us 2 times 9, which is 18. And I'm just going to write that here. And then it's going to be 2 times negative root 27. Don't forget to include the symbol just to the left of the term. So it's 2 times negative root 27. And this 2 is a positive. So a positive times a negative is a negative. And 2 times root 27 is just 2 root 27. So now that we're done with this 2, I'm just going to cross it out. And we're going to go on to this plus root 27, or this positive root 27. And we're going to multiply this by every term in the second bracket. So positive root 27 times positive 9 is going to give us positive 9 lots of root 27. And finally, we're going to do positive root 27 multiplied by negative root 27. So a positive and a negative give us a negative. And root 27 times root 27, now you can go ahead and multiply the 27s together. But that's going to give you a really large number, which you're going to do the square root of anyway to get back to 27. Don't forget from the first example, if you're multiplying two terms or two roots that have the same number, this just eventually simplifies to 27. 
the number in one of the roots. So I'm just going to go ahead and say root 27 times root 27 is just 27. And now we go ahead and simplify this. So I'm going to combine the numbers with the numbers. So it's going to be 18 minus 27, which is negative 9. And then I'm going to do minus 2 root 27 plus 9 root 27, which is going to be plus 7 root 27. Now, you think this is your final answer, but it's not. And the reason it's not your final answer is because this root 27 can actually be simplified further. So root 27 can be broken down into root 9 times 3 which can then be separated to give us root 9 multiplied by root 3. And if you don't know where this is coming from, I highly suggest you check the previous video on introducing thirds, an introduction to thirds. So at this stage here, the square root of 9 is just 3 multiplied by this root 3 here. So this fully simplifies to give us 3 root 3. So we can actually come back here and simplify this further. So it's going to be minus 9 plus 7 multiplied by this root 27, which is fully broken down into 3 root 3. So it's going to be 7 times 3 root 3. And this finally simplifies to give us negative 9 plus 7 times 3, which is 21, lots of root 3. And if we check our answer, there it is. So take it easy with the, the two-star examples, the medium difficulty examples, because there's more things to simplify. So just take your time and be careful with them. And now for the final example, we're going to multiply these monstrous brackets together, but it's going to be done in the same way that we've done the previous two examples. So I'm going to take the first term of the first bracket and multiply this onto each term of the second bracket. And so this is going to give us the following, 6 root 2 times 5 root 2. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and do this calculation to the side here. So it's 6 root 2 multiplied by 5 root 2. So we're doing the 6 root 2 multiplied by this 5 root 2. And how you do this is as follows. The number at the front multiplied by the number at the front, which is 30. And root 2 times root 2, which is root 4. But we can actually start breaking this down now before rewriting it here. And this is going to save us some time later on. So this root 4 breaks down into 2. And don't forget, this is 30 times root 4. So it's 30 times 2, which is 60. So our first term here is actually just 60. And this is 6 root 2 multiplied by 5 root 2. Now we're going to do 6 root 2 multiplied by 7 root 7. So it's going to be 6 times 7, which is positive 42. And now it's going to be root 2 times root 7, which is going to be root 14. So that's it for 6 root 2 times 7 root 7. Now that we've multiplied 6 root 2 onto everything, we can go ahead and cross this 6 root 2 out as we no longer need it. Now let's go ahead and multiply this 6 root 7, this positive 6 root 7, onto everything in the second bracket. So it's going to be positive 6 times positive 5, which is positive 30. And then root 7 times root 2, which is root 14. And now we're going to do positive 6 root 7 times positive 7 root 7, which is going to be positive 6 times positive 7, which is positive 42. And of course, root 7 times root 7, which is root 49, which breaks down into 7 anyway. So it's 42 times 7. And I'm just going to do this 42 times 7 to the side here. So 42 times 7. And this is going to give us the following. 2 times 7 is 14 and 7 times 40 which is 280 and of course we add this up and this gives us 492 or 294 294 and this is going to give us 60 plus and now we can actually just simplify the root 14s i have 42 lots of root 14 plus 30 lots of root 14 so that's 72 lots of root 14 and then we're going to add on to this 42 times 7 which we calculated to be 294. So now we can go ahead and add our numbers without the roots together. So it's going to be 60 plus 294, which is 354. And then we're going to add on to this 72 root 14. Now, I just want to think, can I break down root 14 into a square number multiplied by a non-square number? And the answer is no. So we can't break it down into four times anything. We can't break it down into nine times anything. So this should be the final answer. So let's just check our answer. Yep, that's it. 
And that's our examples for multiplying third brackets. Now I'm going to give you some practice questions and let's see what they look like. So here are the practice questions. I want you to answer all of them. And in the comments below, tell me how many you got correct out of six. So pause the video now. I'm going to reveal the answers in a few seconds. Check your answers and let me know how you did. Okay, here are the answers. So guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you learn anything and let me know how many questions you got correct from this exercise. And like I said before, if this video helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. It will really go a long way into helping the channel grow. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video, which is rationalizing surds.